Hello guys, so in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create a, so a book cover. So let's get into it. First of all, we're going to set our image size. I'm going to set our size to 1360 to 90 by 907. I'm click on OK. As you can see, this is the resolution. So next we're going to be adding our guidelines. This is our guideline. So we'll come here and click on this and set it to 4 by 8. And sorry, 4 by 7 and click on OK. So next we're going to be adding and aligning this hour. So we we'll drag this one up here and drop it here. Drag this one at the bottom and drop it here. Drag this one at the side and drop it here. Do the same thing for this one. Drag it and drop it here. Let's align this one a little bit. Now do the same thing again. Drag it again and drop it up here. Drag it again and drop it up here. Drop it down here. Still drag it down a little and do the same thing and drag this and drop it here. Do the same thing, drag this and drop it here. So to do the same thing and drag it and drop it here. Okay, so after I've done with that, I'm going to align this to the center. This is the center of your work, this, this middle line here, this one. So we're going to drag this and drop it close to this here. As you can see, drag this to and drop it the same length at this. So when we have done that, lock our grid. But So next we're going to add our image from our gallery. So we're going to be adding this image first. Added this image to our Tigma. As you can see, it's filling the. We don't need to resize it. So make sure that it does not go beyond this line here, this third line here. We we'll drag it and make sure and yeah, you can zoom in for perfect alignment. So we'll lock this layer. So next we're going to be adding a rectangle. Come to our shape. So you can draw and draw and drag it down here and make it a black color click on ok so next we're going to be picture this back behind this first image you see why i did so and you see why i used a black rectangle so we're going to add our next image from our gallery so adding this image and click on our tick mark and we'll place it directly here and yeah see it's okay come to our layer and place it directly behind this black image then we'll click on this black one we'll unlock we'll lock this ones unlock this one click on the black and come to opacity and reduce the opacity you can see the effects of it you need to increase and decrease the brightness of the image so you see why you decrease the brightness so we'll be using 55 click on our tick mark so we'll lock these layers so next we're going to be adding our Attorney. So using John Smith, you can use your name if you want. John Smith means the caps lock, and yeah, that should do. So next, we're going to change our font to our Monterrant font. We'll be using the Monterrant semi bold and then click on OK. So reduce it. So let's zoom in to work on this part of our design. So to have done that, so we're going to zoom and reduce it. Mm, yeah this is just right let's bring it down a little so next we're going to lock this then we'll make a copy of it and copy and add it and the title of our book is whip for a storm so type on whip for i uh, then we'll click on click on make it caps lock and click on ok so as you can see come to our line spacing for sorry spacing Use spacing to make them further away so increase the spacing between the letters and let's leave it at 30 let's make it 35 yeah this is okay for now we might still change it later so let's lock this click on the pencil on your auto name and click on copy lock move your layers back double tap and delete it and type storm and click on okay then we're going to change our font to a monstrant black Come to our font, Monstrant Black, and click on OK. Increase the size, 
increase the size increase it and place it in the center as so so we'll lock it and try and align this one on top of it and that should do so we'll lock it back so let's try and bring it down a little bit let's drag this down and drag this down and align it a little bit so yeah so we're going to add a rectangle at the bottom mm -hmm. you can zoom me let me drag this down at the bottom first let's drop this to the bottom then we'll zoom in then uh, yeah this should be okay so we're going to increase the radius let's add a 10 percent to the radius change the color field to a black color and reduce it and chop it here yep this should do so we're going to add the text again so let's zoom out make a copy and click on copy then we're going to edit this and type based on a true story i will click make it caps and click on ok so come here and reduce the line spacing of this text the spacing i meant which is the spacing and yeah let's make it zero i'm clicking on tick mark and yeah we'll now reduce the size so now let's zoom back in and work with this part here so we'll still reduce this rectangle a little and yeah place it here and lock it so we'll come here reduce the text size reduce it starts too small increase the size you can just simply come here to your text size and increase it so leave it at an 11 so so when we have done that we'll come to our relative position and align it to this center no sorry and place this here in this design we're going to be using our eyes to work with our design so let's just zoom in a little bit place this here let's increase it a little bit and let's make it bolder and just reduce it let's make it lighter so if using a monterrant this let's use a monterrant to regular yeah so that you can go bigger a little bit and come to our text size and make it 11 as you can see fit just right so we'll come here and we'll lock it and reduce the width of this a bit and we'll come here and drag it down and lock it back so we'll zoom out so i zoomed out so i'm done with the front page so now we're going for this point so i said this is a very simple book cover design so we're going to come and merge our title together merge them and click on ok match them already so take note of what we're going to do let's match these two together and merge see i've seen let's take note of what we are doing so next we're going to make a copy of this click on your storm and mark a copy copy so you can see it here so we'll rotate it this way 90 degrees clockwise and reduce the size let's zoom in so you can see the effect so i'm going to please Use the size first rotate it you can see and we'll drop this just here come to our relative position and use this one this is the center this one for center and click on ok so as you can see this is our title of the book here so next we're going to be adding the author's name so we'll come here and click on this pencil with this and click on copy then we've made the copy so we'll rotate it again 90 degrees clockwise and reduce the size and drop it directly below the book title on this point so let's zoom out as you can see reduce the text size let's reduce it here 
let's use 10 so we'll come here come to relative position and align to the center then we'll come here and use our position and move it down a little bit too and click on our tick mark we're going to add in just like a custom logo to our design so we'll go to our gallery from gallery mm, add in this one here you can the name of it is head you see it here move the file is head.png so we'll click on this so we'll click on ok so we'll reduce the size of it for that let's look over all our layers to avoid movement except for this one so reduce the size we'll come to our color overlay first color enable it and choose white then we'll drag this here and we'll zoom in for better results so we'll reduce the size use the size and place it just right here as you can see as you can see the use of this guideline enable us to know how to align it properly so we'll zoom out back so as you can see this is let's still reduce it a little bit stupid and mm, just right and let's zoom out as you can see so now we are done with the front page of our book cover so now we're going to focus on the second page first of all we're going to be adding our picture of the author so come here from gallery and we'll be using this image yeah this very guy here so come here come in let's delete this we'll have to make a cropping changes cropping change to the image so we'll come here and we'll crop up to this extent and yeah that should do just fine and click on ok so if it's in your design already so you reduce the size and drop it up here see so now we are working on this page guidelines back reduce and drop it up here let's see this is our image so we'll drop it here and we'll lock these layers so now we're going to be adding like the auto bio but before that let's just add one last thing from our gallery we want to be adding our isbn number You're wondering what is isbn number isbn number are those numbers that are below a book cover this is what it look like this is it these are isbn numbers so we'll click on this is it and i'm going to reduce the size okay reduce the size reduce 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 and drag it and drop it down here so next we're going to be adding our text like about the about the author so we'll click on here just look for a long quote um yes is this one so we'll come here and reduce the size and increase the width so it's to almost fill our work so um, yeah it's okay so we'll double tap and make a copy of this to make it longer let's copy and paste it Copy and paste it. Hold and paste. Mm, let's hold and paste again. Here. Yeah, this should be okay. Click on OK. You can see it's very long. So I'm going to come to our font and change the font type. It's now Montserrat. So I'm going to be using a Montserrat regular. Or let's use a Montserrat medium and click on OK. So as you can see. Reduce the text size, reduce it, mm, reduce it again, and make it wider. You can increase it if you want. So let's increase the size just a little. Mm, reduce it and increase it. And this should do just fine. 
CFC. You can see the use of that black square rectangular added. It enabled us to be able to see the text. Because as you can see, you can easily see the text in this background. Let me show you an example. When you come here and let's unlock this layer. I'll click on it and come to opacity to opacity and decrease increase it you can barely read it but you can see six but i think it makes it easier to read so we'll go back and click on our tick mark here and I'll drop this down here so we'll lock all the other layers so next what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be copying the author's name again copy it then we we'll reduce this size we we'll rotate it to 90 degrees clockwise and drop it just here and here you have it and let's zoom out it's a simple book cover design quite more degree you can see how it looks like but um as you as you guys are done with designing this make sure to screenshot this and send it along with the saved version of this like you make a screenshot and send to me then you also save it also save it and save as image and make sure it is set to ultra and click on ok and save it and send it to me send the screenshot and send the exported file to me so I will see your alignment of grid in your design so this is the end of the tutorial and I will see you guys in the next one bye